Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and this is a video to show you a new section in my garden. It's a kind of Japanese Zen section and today I'm going to be raking the gravel on top so just thought you'd like to see it. And here's the part of my garden that I'm talking about. So this was an area that had an unsightly hump and we had it excavated with the digger and because it's been excavated from the side of the cliff it's very very stony and we decided to just do something simple with it. Now this part of the garden is flanked here by a raised succulent bed. Can we see here? And I've just planted out the aeoniums into it and this one here is going to flower. Isn't that nice? The bank in the background is Persicaria that is just waking up after its long winter's net rest. So that's the end of the succulents and now let's go in and see the Zen area. Okay so as you see very simple lots of gravel and a couple of Buddhas and we have a Japanese lantern here and then I have my Philotaka bamboo in the background which has been pruned to show off the stems to best effect so that means removing every two stems in the middle just so that you can see them displayed a little better and removing also the side shoots all the way up the bamboo you can do this every year without really damaging your bamboo so if you're worried about the aesthetics of it, then that's certainly a thing to do. And over here on the edge of the Zen area, I've just extended the little dry stone wall across from the raised succulent area. And that just kind of integrates the two together better. Now my garden is a very stony place. So this is all stone that has come out of the beds when they've been made and um, I suppose I'm lucky that way but it certainly doesn't seem like lucky at the time when you're digging them out and by happy accident what we also have over here kind of tying in to the Japanesey theme is a bank of moss and I decided to leave it make a virtue of necessity with the rake and I'm going to get started and as we go I'll let you know some of the principles that I have become aware of in terms of Zen gardening. Now the idea with this is to get a kind of stripe in it in the same way as you might with a lawn that's been mowed as well. but it's not really coming out with the rake. Here we can see that there's membrane underneath just to keep the weeds down and it's exposed a little bit. Now there's something really, I don't know, soothing about doing this, I suppose it's a kind of mindfulness. I was reading some theories about it and according to Jungian philosophy we carry within our psyche ideas of the collective consciousness so mankind as a whole tries to replicate what to him is familiar and that mankind as a whole stems back to the time when, I suppose, when we came from the sea even, that that is there within our consciousness. And the gravel very often, in terms of a pure European interpretation, represents the sea. And any rocks or items placed in the middle of it represent islands or land. But I think more correctly, one of the Japanese interpretations is that 
the gravel, the smooth gravel just represents reality. And then an island or a rock like this in the middle of it is a single thought, which obviously is something that disturbs reality and shakes it up. However, what do I know? I'm doing this because I find it quite soothing and it's a bit of a different addition to my garden. Now I definitely need bigger rocks so if any of you have very large boulders at home in your garden put them in an envelope and send them to me.
and since my rake isn't working very well what I'm actually going to do is with my hand just create a manual wave let's just say around this supposed island in the sea or this supposed thought in reality. There we go. Okay, so I hope you have found this video interesting and at a minimum it has relaxed you on a very busy time in the gardening year when perhaps you're rushing around and doing things frantically. It's certainly, it's certainly been good for me, but not a job to do when you're in a hurry. It's one that you need to take time and to do and I'm sure I'll get better at it as time goes on. Thanks very much for watching and check back again for lots more videos. Bye.